You know, we mentioned the story, if you go to Islam 21C, we mentioned the story of Sheikh Abdurrahman Sumayr, who is giving da'wah in Africa. Yeah? Please go and read his story. Very inspiring story. Amazing story. Yeah, they said that this person, through him, more than 7 million people accepted Islam. This person himself alone. Yeah? In one of the uh, lectures, he said that uh, he was in one of the African countries. He was in one of the African countries, and a mother brought her child. There was famine in that country. So he said, because of the level of famine we had in that country, we, were, we had a clinic where we weigh children. If they are under certain threshold, we just neglect them because they are going to die. Let them die and let us help those who have what reasonable weight. Yeah? Can you see this? And he said, a mother came with her child who was uh, two, three years of age. And he said, I put it on the scale. He was low below the threshold. So I said, sorry, just, okay, next child. So she took the child and she was crying because this is her child. For me, it's not my child, but for her, he is everything in, in her life. So she took him and she was crying. She sa he said, she left the tent, the clinic, and I left after some time and I found that child along with dust, dust is, always, is almost covering him, and he was about to die. He said, my heart could not bear that situation. So he said, I took that child, I removed the sand from him, and I said to the uh, administration, give him $10 from my own wage. And I said, because I don't want to stand before Allah Jalla wa Ala and letting this child die in front of my eyes. So he said, just $10 a month. I gave it to that child. He said, Wallahi, after almost 10 years, a lady came with an almost teenager, and she said, do you remember this person? Do you remember this boy? This boy is the person who was about to die and you gave him $10 a month, and now he is a half of Kitab Allah because of you. My dear brothers and sisters, every single one of us should dedicate part of his income as a sadaqah on a monthly basis. On a monthly basis. Sadaqah will never decrease your money. Sadaqah will never decrease your wages. In fact, it will give you barakah and contentment. Yani around 10%, the person should have like commitment with himself. 10% of his wage to be a sadaqah. There are many projects to sponsor people. Uh, Umma Wilfair, they presented a project. I think 12 pounds were enough to what? Uh, to sponsor a yatim. Yeah, in many African countries and Bangladesh, Pakistan, and in, in different countries, from 12 pounds a month up to 40 pounds a month. Who can? All of us are working. Yeah? Who, who can say, who, who can't sponsor or spare 12 pounds a month from his salary? I am sure, I am sure, wallahi, I am sure that every single one of you who work in the city can spare at least 100 pounds a month. And at the day of resurrection of the Prophet ﷺ said, I will be with the one who sponsors a yatim, an orphan, like this in paradise. We will be like this in paradise. And at the day of resurrection, if we see that our a'mal, our deeds, are not enough to overweigh our sins, maybe one of those children whom we have sponsored will say to Allah Jalla wa ala, when we are about to be thrown in the hellfire, will stand before Allah Jalla wa ala, and will say to Allah Jalla wa ala, Oh Allah, I intercede for this person, save him from the hellfire because he sponsored me when I was a child and no one was sponsoring me.